Orlando, Florida, AP, a 14-year-old boy fell to his death late at night from a free-fall amusement park ride that is taller than the Statue of Liberty along a busy street in the heart of Orlando's tourist district. Sheriff's officials and emergency crews responded to a call late Thursday at Icon Park, which is located in the city's tourist district along International Drive. The boy fell from the Orlando Free Fall Ride, which opened late last year. He was taken to a hospital, where he died, sheriff's officials said. No additional details about the teen or the incident were immediately released. A video aired by NBC's Today Show Friday morning appears to show passengers on the ride discussing issues with a seat restraint Thursday night. The ride then began its strike up the tower before someone is later seen falling from the ride. We are absolutely saddened and devastated by what happened, and our hearts go out this young man's family, John Stein, sales director with the Slingshot Group which owns the ride, told the Associated Press on Friday morning. The free fall ride and an adjacent ride, the Slingshot, have been closed indefinitely, Stein said. His company operates the two rides at Icon Park. We are cooperating with all other investigations at this time to get to the bottom of what happened, Stein said. Stein said there had been no issues reported previously with the free fall ride, which opened over the holidays. The Florida Department of Agriculture, which oversees amusement ride inspections with the exception of the state's largest theme parks, has launched an investigation and inspectors were at the site Friday, spokesperson Carolyn Stone Kuyper said in an email. The ride stands 430 feet, 131 meters, tall, and is billed as the world's tallest freestanding drop tower according to the park's website. The ride holds 30 passengers as it rises in the air, rotates around the tower and then tilts to face the ground before free-falling at more than 75 miles per hour, 120 kilometers per hour, the website said. The ride has an over-the-shoulder restraint harness, with two hand grips at the chest level, that goes over the rider automatically, 